The first at six this Thursday. Reaction to a shooting at a Robinson County Middle School football game. One woman was shot in the parking lot right behind that stadium. She was airlifted to the hospital. We're told right now she's in critical but stable condition. Gunshots caused a scramble on the field at the same time as middle schoolers from St. Paul's were about to receive their trophies. A warning before we go any further here. Some of the video you may find in this next story. Also, the audio might be disturbing to you. News 13's Manny Martinez is live for us tonight in Lumberton at the site of the shooting. Manny. Megan and Bob, the game involved St. Paul's Middle and Lumberton Junior High. And just as the St. Paul's players were about to be presented with their trophies for their win, you can hear multiple gunshots in the background before people start running. Watch. This is video from Don Weller. He's a teacher at St. Paul's Middle. The game was played at Lumberton Senior High, and Weller was part of the mad dash off the field but lost his footing in the chaos. Others dropped to the turf instead of running. One of St. Paul's seventh grade players helped Weller take cover near a fence, and both say they didn't even have time to think, just act. I think fight or flight kicked in for me, and uh, you know, I, a lot of people had start, started to run, and my brain told me to run too. And then my feet didn't cooperate, and I ended up falling, and that's when Bobby came in. I see him fall, and I grab his phone, and I, he's still falling. He rolled over to the fence, and then I made sure he was down. I, he said, what happened? And I pushed him down. I said, guns or something. Weller says yesterday was his worst day in 27 years with the public schools of Robinson County and the only time he's felt unsafe. Today, District Superintendent Dr. Freddie Williamson said in a statement the district plans to beef up security at middle and high school sporting events by adding more lights, especially around parking lots, on top of already existing security checks at the gate and a police presence. Anything can happen in just a minute, and you're not promised tomorrow. It's sad that he has the... Uh, mindset to shoot at a middle school game at, at a school. It's sad that they would bring that near school is really the, the truth. I mean, I, I, I honestly, I'm not, I'm not one for guns. And, you know, I think that we're seeing them way too much, you know, and this is starting to impact our, our lives in just too much of a way. And the district superintendent added this in his statement today that last night should have been a moment our students will remember as they completed their championship and made lifelong memories with their peers. He added that moment was wrongfully taken from those students and will instead serve as a reminder of how far as a society we have fallen. And plans are in place to give the students of St. Paul, uh, the winning players, a proper trophy ceremony, but that's at a later date. The district also had extra counselors at the schools today at the middle schools as Lumberton PD had extra school resource officers on hand here where I'm at at Lumberton Senior High School. The suspect is still out there. Live in Lumberton tonight, Manny Martinez, News 13.